Welcome back, ladies and gents, on today's show. A Ford F-150 gets swole, an Audi wagon to celebrate Audi wagons, and the Genovation GXE takes on Thunderhill. Plus, collector cars you can actually afford. I'm Tiffany Stone, and this is Haggerty's Daily Driver. Let's buckle up. If you think the Ford Raptor is too tame, have we got the truck for you. This is the mil-spec automotive F-150. Now this truck is so big and brawny, it should have like an ironic nickname, like Tiny or Lil' Mill. On the outside, there's enough lights for a World Series night game, and also new front and rear bumpers that could probably knock over a stadium. Now the fenders are huge, and they need to be, because mil-spec's Baja Performance Suspension System makes the track 13 and a half inches wider than a Raptor's. No wonder people take these to the sand dunes. It's the only place it'll fit. Under the hood, Mil-Spec adds a Ford Performance Supercharger, a bigger throttle body, and a better air-to-liquid intercooler. The blower system pushes the 5 liter to 675 horsepower and 620 pound-feet of torque. The price is big, too. $118,000! But if it's between this and the Range Rover, I'm going with this. Now, if you like fast wagons, one, you're very smart, and two, you definitely will like this. It's the Audi RS 6 Avant RS Tribute Edition, and yes, I realize that's very confusing. The Audi RS 6 is the fastest, most wagonist thing Audi makes. It can take you four and a half people, and quite a bit of stuff on a 200 mile per hour road trip to anywhere, including jail. Now, not only is this the first time the RS6 Avant has been available in the US, it's also the 25th anniversary of the RS2 Avant, the first high performance wagon Audi ever built. Put those two occasions together and you get a wagon fan's dream. A 591 horsepower wagon finished in Audi's famous Nagaro Blue, they're only making 25 of these, and this color screams future collectible, so don't expect them to sit on lots very long. While we're waiting for Tesla's 2021 Roadster to arrive, the Genovation GXE just set a seriously fast lap at Thunderhill Raceway. The C7-based electric car has been around for a few years, impressing people with its performance and its optional manual transmission. Last year, a GXE hit a top speed of 211 miles per hour. This year, they went to Thunderhill, handed the car to experienced pro Randy Popes, and let her rip. The GXE went around the undulating course in just one minute, 21.16 seconds. That's quicker than the new C8 Corvette. Some of the speed is thanks to the twin electric motors and their combined 800 horsepower. But hey, Randy's driving certainly doesn't hurt. Genovation says the GXE will go on sale once development ends. However, they also say each car will cost $750,000. That's a lot of money for a car that looks like a C7 Corvette, especially when you consider the Tesla Roadster is a third less. Coming up, we've got some collector cars you can get for less than $15,000. But first... It seems like the collector car market is hotter than ever. After all, a Honda Civic just sold for $50,000. But you don't have to spend big bucks to get something cool and collectible. You just have to know where to look. Our own Greg Ingold dug deep into the Haggerty data to see what kind of car you could get for $15,000, and here's what he found. First up, a fourth generation Corvette. As usual, you get a lot for the money when you buy a Corvette. If you just want the good looks without the real speed, a C4 from the 80s will work. But if you want some speed, you need one with the LT1 or LT4 engine. We recommend a 96 Corvette with the LT4, 330 horsepower V8, six-speed manual, and a chassis that will surprise you. Staying in the Chevy family, we have the 1992 to 1999 Chevy Blazer slash Tahoe and the GMC Yukon. In 1992, Chevrolet updated their Blazer, giving it independent front suspension, more sound deadening, and a better ride. It was a much nicer place to be than the outgoing truck. 
The interest in classic 4x4s is growing every day, and it won't be long before people realize how good looking a two-door Tahoe used to be. But maybe those two options are too normal. You have expensive tastes, or you wish you did, but you don't have the fancy mustard money? Then the Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow Sedan is for you. Made from 1965 to 1980, the Silver Shadow was a rarity for Rolls because it was a mass-produced sedan. They made over 16,000 of these, an adorable number to Toyota, but a lot to Rolls-Royce. That means the Shadow couldn't be complicated, so it's more reliable than you'd expect. Just make sure the brakes and suspension are in good working order, or your bank balance will roll downhill. To get pricing details on these models and to see additional cars, hit the link in the description or go to haggerty.com media. That's all for today, but I'll be back tomorrow with more car news. Until then, keep driving.